Hey everybody, it's Beth Minardi here with Rusk and we're continuing talking about something new and exciting and that's Rusk in 10. Rusk in 10 is a permanent hair color that we're delighted to introduce because it offers salons more flexibility and creativity and time control. Because in only 10 minutes, you can, after applying this color, set that timer for 10 minutes, bang, the timer goes off and you've got a great result. So clients who might be in a hurry or who might have planned for only a blow dry or a trim today are going to stay. And you know, we've done some videos that you'll be seeing soon of applying Ruskin 10 as a retouch. And today I'm really excited because we have a really beautiful woman from here in Connecticut. Her name is Melissa. And as she got gray, she started realizing she didn't really hate it. But you know, sometimes the salt takes over the pepper and we get just a little bit too gray. So when she was saying to me, I don't want to be too dark, I'm thinking, well, if I just make her gray blonde, it won't work with her skin tone. But if I allow some of that gray to stay out, her friend, some of those gray strands, and I heavily low light the hair using Ruskin 10, she'll be happy, will be happy, and she'll emerge looking more like she did 12 years ago, which is, I call it her special silver. It's the silver enhancement but we are gonna cover that gray with Ruskin 10 and leave some of the strands out so that we don't take away her good friend, which happens to look pretty good. So everybody, meet Melissa, our beautiful model, and take a look at this hair. Uh, she has more hair than I do. I have to say, she has thick, delicious, coarse, medium textured hair, um, a lot of it. She's, and I'll turn her, she still is a little deeper in the back, in the nape, but a lot of salt and pepper up here in the front. I would say she's about 85% white in the front and then maybe 65 in the crown and about 45 to 50 in the nape. Now take a, this is a woman who might come to you and we're gonna be a little creative here. This is not just a put it on, process it and, and make her monochromatic. One of the things people who are salt and pepper forget or don't realize, it's our job to realize it, is they like the dimension in their hair. They like it that not everything's the same color. So if we just, if we deepened her to all dark or medium brown, she would probably cry, and a good colorist would cry too, because they'd say it's just too dark. But we can do rich shades, and then foil wrap rich tones using Ruskin 10 permanent color. Remember, I'm using virgin hair. Ruskin 10 covers gray on virgin hair. I would not bring it on to previously bleached ends, but I'm so thrilled she's here with us today because we get to show the creativity that we as colorists can have that women simply do not have at home. Okay, everybody, so from the back, here's Melissa. Notice what we've done, we've sectioned her. I'm going to take everything I'm holding in my right hand and I'm going to cover it with one wonderful formula of Ruskin 10 permanent color. And I've sectioned zig, zag, zig, zag, because if God were giving you different shades in your head, it wouldn't look like a ruler went across the back of your head. So we've mixed equal parts of Ruskin 10 5N and 6G. And remember, Ruskin 10 is mixed with one part color, two parts 20 volume Ruskin 10 developer. So it's an ounce of 5N, an ounce of 6G, and four ounces of 20 volume developer. So I'm gonna turn her, I'm gonna begin applying to the root area first and then really work it with my hands and the brush to thoroughly saturate the nape. I'm gonna do something called building a wall, which I do with foil, which will separate everything I'm taking totally back, coloring it. And then I'm going to use foil to heavily, heavily low light the top of her head to keep her a you know, little bit of salt, but a whole bunch of pepper going on there. So I'm gonna start now by applying first to the regrowth. And please, I urge you, whenever you're doing a root to end application, which is only on virgin hair and very seldom, please make sure you start at the scalp and not on the ends and then try to go back to the root. Start, make sure you saturate the scalp, then work through the mids and then down into the ends. Okay, so let's get going. And I like them that they're very flexible. I find if foil is too thick, it's hard to fold and if it's hard to fold, it can sometimes migrate away from the head. So this is what I'll be using in the top of the head. But right now, I'm starting in the nape. And you can see, 
if I turn her head slightly toward the camera, look how much more pigmented she is in the nape, the very bottom. But we are not going to worry about that so much. So this level five and six mixed together will make this level four hair turn about a level five and uh, make the gray cover to between the five and six, which will be a beautiful blend. And I will say Ruskin 10 is very rich in that it covers. So it develops to a rich, deep shade. So whenever you're working with it, err on the side of formulating a little lighter and perhaps a bit warmer than you might desire. But it's an easy to use product that I think most of you are gonna love. Again, notice that I'm taking very fine vertical sections in this nape and that I'm making sure I cover her regrowth or the scalp area first. And if you're working on super fine hair or on smaller sections, as I will be doing in the front, I'm going to be using a smaller brush. This large brush is for larger areas. Okay, everyone, so I've combed down a portion of the hair. And then I'm going to be applying my Ruskin 10 formula. Again, in bowl number one, we have 5N and 6G. In bowl two, 6G. So this beautiful model will have multi-dimensional color in her hair. She will have gray, not much. She will have a level 5 neutral and a level 6 golden highlight in the hair. And remember, Ruskin 10 was developed to cover gray with some warmth but with controlled warmth so there are no strange or frightening surprises. Um, I, I'm going to show you how I like to weave up the front of the head, and you've seen this in some of the um, videos I've done before, but I try not to put everything in a parallel fashion, and I think if you find that you twist the foil and hold it and take it from different directions, you're going to get a sexier, more fluid, more, shall we say, impressionistic result with the hair when you're finished. Now. I'm taking down this next section. You'll notice that the left side of the foil is higher than the right side. Let's go straight across for the next one. Now, most people like a lot of more light around the face, so I remember that. So look what I'm going to do, guys. Um, on this foil, I'm going to omit that gray hair right around the face, but on most of the uh, sections I take, I am going to be covering everything. Now, Melissa has thick, dense hair. So I'm not doing tiny weaves. I'm actually doing more slicing. Um, and I, I don't usually do this unless somebody has really dense, coarse hair, and she does. So in that foil, I used the 6G, because when I work right against her face, let's cover that gray, but make it a bit lighter than the rest of the head. Now, this foil is mostly a pair of, uh, uh, parallel to the ground. So let's make this one more of a tiny angle close to the face. So basically, just say to yourself, I guess Beth puts some of them in straight and some of them in crooked, and that's exactly what I'm doing. Now, whatever way you, as an advanced colorist, like to foil hair, and whatever way you do it is your thing. I'm just showing how you how you how I do it in my salon, and of course you should follow anything that you feel comfortable with in yours. So just that little bit of gray that I'm leaving out in between is her friend. What I found sometimes on these color transitions is the client does converse with you and say, "I don't want to be too dark." Does that mean she wants to be blonde or red or light brown? Or does it mean, as she shared with me in our discussion, that she doesn't really hate the gray, she just knows there's way too much of it. So this is a virgin head, and I'm happy to do this kind of little more of an artistic, fun thing. And I'm sure you don't get a lot of people in who have virgin salt and pepper hair. But after what's been going on with the trend of a lot of women saying, I want to go gray. You might have women who still want to be gray, but might want a little more depth. They think it's maybe too gray. And this happens a lot with guys. So low lighting them um, 
with a given formula and allowing some of that gray to stay out um, is really something pretty, very, very pretty. So we have now reached the top of the mountain on side one, and you'll see I've really wrapped the foils going in different directions with uh, two different formulas of Ruskin 10. And you'll see all these hairs that you'll see poking out are the ones I've decided to allow to remain silver. The rest of the hair is going to be colored really pretty light brownette in a sort of a light chocolatey milk chocolate with some uh, warmth in it uh, to a brunette shade. So she'll really look like someone just starting to get gray but with some sophistication and a little bit of salt and pepper around the front but with a wonderful brunette hair color. I'm going to begin now wrapping the second side as I did the first, and I'll turn the chair so Justin can tune in a little bit. We can see what's going on. But uh, I think after you see a couple of the foils, you'll get, you'll get the hang of it. So uh, here we go. We're starting on side two again, using Ruskin 10, this wonderful new 10 minute gray coverage hair color. Cool. As you'll notice everyone, the flatter you keep the foil and the closer to the head you hold your hands, the more control you will have. Notice there's no buckling at the regrowth area and I'm keeping the foil as flat as possible. Now you can fold in whatever way you like. Most people fold in from two sides. I don't. I fold in only from the left. I'm left-handed. You might choose to fold in from only the right and I love these single prong clips uh, that were introduced to me years ago. They make much less bulk and at the same time, they allow you to hold the foil. So if she wants to make a phone call or walk about around the salon, she doesn't have to feel that she's uh, going to lose foil. Again, I fly in, notice, right down to the scalp. So we're going to continue on and as I say doing zigzags are really fun so here we have a foil where the left side is lower than the right let's go off on another tangent on another direction and start wrapping toward the way the hair falls toward the front um, you can decide to do this any way you want um, I'm just trying to show you a little bit of the technique that um, I like to use in my salon work now, some people like to reinforce the foil, and when you do, please don't put the lip of the fold inside the foil. Notice, the comb is on top of the foil, and I'm pushing it right down onto the scalp. Now, she can feel me pulling her hair. And I'm gonna slide the comb out. Now, when you're working on super curly hair, or hair where you're worried you might not get close to the scalp because it's so dense, reinforcing the base of the foil is really important. It doesn't matter what brand you're using. It doesn't matter what beauty school teacher taught you in order to pass and get a, get a license. But uh, reinforcing the foil can work. And I'll show you another one just to make sure you saw it. I'm going to weave this section, foil the foil right off of the head. And I'm going to take the foil and the blue, the colored section of the foil should never be inside where the hair color is. The comb, goes on top of the foil close to myself, and then I slide it right down onto the scalp. There will be no bleed mark. Those little tips help certainly those of us at Rusk and also people who use whatever they're currently using in their salon to create gorgeous color. And then I'm folding up. And again, you can choose to fold any way you want. Now on this one, we're going to leave a little bit of hair in between. At my salon, sometimes I use conditioner to weigh the hair down and actually keep it from boinging in my face. And she does have a natural, little bit of a natural wave in this gorgeous hair. So again, let's reinforce this foil just so everybody gets a good look at it. Comb on top of the foil close to yourself on the blue side. Now what I don't wanna see is when people fold it and I see teachers doing this, which upsets me to no end. We don't want any of the colored part of the foil inside we want that only on the outside so if you are using foil that's not only silver comb on top of the foil close to yourself 
and right down. <laughs> the poor lady probably feels a little bit, feel a little pressure there, Melissa. Yeah, okay, but that makes a happy hair color is because we're going to be able to get right down, I say right into the wood there, right down to the wood, and we're going to lie that hair flat in the foil. When the hair is all jumbled up into the foil, you're going to get spots and not even lift or deposit. So it's these little things that really help. And of course, the Ruskin 10 product consistency is lovely, so it's not too thin, it's not too thick, it's perfect for doing um, dimensional work. Now, for those of us who've been doing this 275 years, I always tell you the first 20,000 foils are the toughest. You don't need to reinforce the base of every foil. So here we are. Again, notice the hair is sort of in the center third of the foil. That's important. And I fold up. And I could fold in from both sides, but me, I just fold in from one side. And I use my single prong clips. I find them to be really, really helpful. Okay, so let's do another one. And, you know, if God gave her high, low lights or gave her little bits of silver, maybe some of the hair on the ends wouldn't be quite as dark. So I'm going to use my darker formula of 5N and 6G at the regrowth. But then as I work out toward the ends, why don't I use the bit of the lighter foil, the 5N mixed with the 6G? Not a big deal, but just a little difference in nuance. Voila. There we go. Let's cut it right there real quick. Melissa's all wrapped up and ready to process for only 10 minutes at room temperature. Then we're going to take her down, rinse forever, and then shampoo, condition the hair, and you will see her back. Remember, this was virgin hair. This was not a retouch on somebody who'd been bleached or colored or permed or texturized. This is virgin salt and pepper hair. We were delighted to be able to show you this creative technique. Wait till you see the finish. So we're gonna process her, and she'll be back. Just a great way to use Ruskin 10 on your clients who want a little more pepper in that salt and pepper hair. I was so happy today to meet our wonderful Melissa because she came in, as you saw, white hair, 85% white, most of it, as we graduated toward the back a little less. But she whispered to me during our consultation, I don't want to be too dark. And then she said, um, why, I, did, I really stopped coloring my hair. What I learned was she didn't want to be too dark, and at the same time, she stopped coloring her hair because she didn't like frequent retouches, and the gray didn't look so bad. However, she agreed that there was too much salt in the salt and pepper hair. So I decided to leave some of the gray out, and how lucky I was to demonstrate Ruskin 10, which covers gray 100% in 10 minutes at room temperature. One ounce of Ruskin 10 is mixed with two ounces of 20 volume Ruskin 10 cream developer. And if you take a look in the back, I really started in the nape and literally covered all of the hair with Ruskin 10. And then you saw me foil wrap and low light. We usually low light with demi cream color, but here I, this was virgin hair. So I used permanent color to create different brown shades in her gray hair and I left some of the gray out. So she's really happy and she's still a little bit like the salt and pepper lady, but she's the lady who's brunette with just that little touch of gray coming in. And you know, it's fashionable and um, fashion's fun. So Ruskin 10 uh, to the rescue and you're really happy, right? Thank you, I love it. I love we it. had a great time and I, I know you will too. Ruskin 10 is gonna really help your business, get those clients in and out of the chair quickly and make those gray coverage clients super duper happy.